slip Then it's funny cause they slipping Me I'm never missing You can pick the heat dog I beat you with the pistons Listen, comprehend this and pay attention Brutal sims like LeBron No one can What up? What up? It's your boy You don't know Brutal Sim on the scene Wicked and me with a next video for y'all man so a bunch of people was asking about my point forward, man. Now I'm about to drop it all here for y'all, man. Reveal some secrets that a lot of people know and a lot of people not letting a lot of people know what's going on. All right, especially for these type of build, the pure point, the pure point forward is what I'm going to be addressing right now. Now these strategies can work for the playmaking shot creator in this position as well and these type of build, but right now I'm addressing the pure point four now y'all already see me in the playground snapping ankles you already see me shooting these threes you all see me dunking out there in fact i gotta comment why are you playing like the slasher you got the ability to be a triple god and i do with this build as well now the beauty about this build man i know it's a little late for a lot of people but this is for the people who are trying to have fun with the game and this for me is my funniest build straight up i have so much fun playing with this build because i'm i got the ability to snap ankles if i feel like being a dribble guy today i got the ability to drop these flashy passy dimes as well you know if i just feel like showing out oh i got the ability to just take it to the basket or shoot threes there's nothing you can do get block shots the whole nine y'all seen the videos the proof is in the pool check out my videos man now if you're first time to my channel don't forget to subscribe you know i gotta put in that little plug now let me get to how I created this beast right here. Alright. How I created the secrets behind brutal pure point forward creation. Now I went to the NBA 2K Labs. I ain't gonna front. I compared all the builds, all the badges. And then I was like, you know what? 6-9 is where it's at today. Where it's at this year again. Cause last year I created a 6-9. Beast. Unstoppable. I was like, you know what? I'm not sure what the shooting though. The shooting is a little iffy, but if I get the right custom on it, it's gonna be wet like water. <laughs> and y'all already seen the videos. I'm shooting with confidence, right? Now, we gonna go into the build real quick, man. So, what I came up with, man, and don't forget, let me put in one more quick plug. Check out the NBA 2K Labs if y'all wanna check out the subscription service. Y'all in interested in 2K stuff, in 2K jump shots, whatever. The subscription service, use the code BRUTALSIM. Y'all get a discount, man. But um, and they didn't even ask me to do that, but they did say, yo, you could give people the code if you feel like it, right? Now, check out the height and the weight, 6'9", 200 pounds. Now, people ask, why you went so light, Brutes? Because I always put speed over strength in 2Ks, especially when you're in the trying to play in a playmaking position or like a like a um let's say the point guard this position that's why i created this point forward for him to keep the ball in his hands for him to create for other players that's why you got the diamond hall of fame the flashy passer hall of fame all of these contributes to getting the ball to your teammates and give them a boost on their shots making them elite right so i always go speed over strength and I'm telling y'all, I never get exposed in terms of strength with this build. Ain't no one overpowered me with this build. I'm getting a lot of block shots, a lot of steals, the whole nine with this build. So I decided to go with this height and this weight. And I decided to go with long arms as well. Now the secret behind me shooting is what you're all seeing in the hot spots. I know earlier in the, in the year, I think it was Baluba, Mike Wang tweeted out, well, the hot spots not gonna affect the jump shot as much this year. They lied. The hot spots definitely affect the jump shots a lot in this game. I'm sorry. Make sure and go out there, play some marker, and get your hot spots red. Now, I could play a few more and try to get all of them bright red, but I understand where my strengths are, where they ain't, and I know my hot spots on the court from the drop, right? Now, I'm not going in there because I don't want to lose some of my hearts for some messes up. Right now, I got all of it red, so I understand my strengths and my weakness. It's very, under, very important to understand what's your strength and your weakness, where the hot spot isn't, and it isn't, and it is, my bad. But, like, I get, a, I noticed I get a lot more greens in the bright red versus the regular, just bland red color, man. So, hot spots definitely matter when creating when trying to shoot in this game especially if you're not a pure shooter man pure shooter might be the only build you could actually get away with it man and i'm actually thinking about creating one of those soon putting this out there but that's all gonna come that's gonna come in the near future man all right now uh one more thing that helps is this the defense the defense the defense 
right? And you see right here, my defense. Uh, this is from me playing a lot of my career as well, man. You play in my career. I, I put myself in the center a lot because when I was trying to get the break starter badge, and that messes messed up my defense in the middle, man. So. Yeah, what can I say, man? I had to get that break started badge. <laughs> Alright, um, let me show you all the badges, the important badges that you all need to get. And the ones man, you don't really got to fight up with, man. Alright, now, if you Diamond Hall of Fame, must, must. This makes your squad so much better, man. Just take them from there and put them all the way up here, man. It takes them to another level straight up. Because this gave your teammates a huge boost on their jump shots, man. It makes his fuzzy out there look like a great shooter. I'm tired of that without getting paid, but it's alright. <laughs> alright, pick and roll maestro must. This boosts everything off us pick and roll, man. And although I don't like to run pick and rolls, man, but it definitely helps for people who likes running their pick and roll a lot. Pick and pops work extremely well. I see people score damn near contested bad shots off the pick and pop. Pick and roll, it helps people go into the rim. Pick and roll, it helps people you throw the hoop using this lob city passer as well. Um Break starter is a must because if you're a pure point forward, man, I'm telling y'all, do not break out too fast. Go help your teammates pull some rebounds, man. Go help them. And in fact, if they pass the ball to you as soon as they get the rebound, break starter does initiate as well on those long passes then help starts the fast break man so make sure go secure the boards if you got a pure point forward i suggest that you don't break out fast man all right you might be the best ball handler on your squad and it might help your team a lot now you must get these badges of course anchor breaker one man fast break must have and of course i ain't gotta mention these these you definitely gotta get especially glue hands man you know glue hands you definitely need glue hands in this game now the acrobat must have difficult shots it's really good. I'm surprised how good this is. Would you hit moving shots? Really good. Tyler scorer must have as well. Especially when you're a playmaking type build, man. You dribble a lot. Your energy is gonna be draining, man. You still need that extra boost to hit these shots. Teardropper, not so much. Corner specialist, not so much. Um, charge card, not so much. You don't need these badges. Post spin technician, not so much. But you do need these two, defensive stopper and relentless finisher, man. And of course, you know, for the, um, oh yeah, and the mid-range that I almost forgot this one. And of course, the personal, the personality badges will come, man, all right? So, you already know these are uh, gonna come with time. You don't really gotta grind to get these badges like previous years, man. So, that is something you need to know. Um, now, looking at these, man, my layup driving to the rim, pretty decent. Dunks. Pretty decent. It's I right, to the 60 something, but I'm gonna show you all the dunk packages that you all need to use to maximize whatever you got. Mid range, um, pretty decent. My, you, you, I mean, no one should be missing mid range in this game, man. Once you got a good shot, you good. Um, three pointer, 77 open three, man. Because I don't really take contested three, but I notice on late contests you hit consistently, right? This is where the contested three comes in, right? But the open shots, what I do with my shooting. And this is with me understanding where I was financially in the game. I already know this was the last player I'll be creating on the PS4. So I was like, you know what? I could use boost on my shooting, man. So I don't mind losing a little bit on the shooting. That's why I end up maxing out my arms and getting my arms really long. That's why you notice the contested shots is higher than the open three, right? Now, with me boosting, this is going to put my open shot to, let's say, a, what, an 82? Come on, bro. If you can't shoot with the 82, you can't shoot, man. And I'm going to and make sure and click on the jump shot at the end of this video. I'm going to put up the link or the picture or the clip of the jump shot. So make sure and check that out. A lot of people ask me what custom jump shot I'm using, man. I already put out a custom jump shot already. The same one I'm using currently, man. I've, I've been uploading that video, man. So click on, on it at the end of this video. I'm, I don't hide nothing from y'all. Oh, you already know that, man. And this is about helping y'all out and helping out the community, right? The ball handling, really good. I'm not able to get those elite dribble moves, which I think was highly overrated because I already got a playmaking sharpshooter that got these moves, and I still go back to the pro moves, man, to be honest. I'm um, passing elite. Definitely in lead and with the combination of that dimer the flashy passer man. I could while out whenever I choose to um post offense average average bonus you skill you could use it of course um rebounding Average average both my length and my speed and my vertical 
And the way how springy this player is, I get up there and I get my shit fair share. Steals, pretty decent. Blocks, pretty decent. Vertical, pretty decent. Um, lateral quickness is 62. Still better than most, but uh, you know, 2K could definitely do something on this lateral quickness. Because I'm, I ain't going from man. No one could really stay in front of me if I don't let them with this build unless I'm playing versus a lot that I'm still probably gonna get around them with a behind the back a little momentum dribble behind the back or something like that you know the dribble guys know man and I am no dribble guy by no means speed 80 acceleration 81 pretty decent pretty decent strength 57 this is a question mark for a lot of people I'm not fearing this at all at all but side note do not Get caught below the rim if a pure slasher drive to the lane. I know this is any build, man, but I'm warning y'all, man. I got posted once, man. <laughs> it brought chest to my eye on front with y'all. Um, stamina, 99, man. But you're a playmaking type build. You are tempted to dribble a lot, which means your energy will go down faster than most. So remember, man, don't hold down on that right trigger too much, man. It might come back to bite you in the butt. Now, I'm going to show you all my dribble moves and explain to y'all how I use them and I'm gonna go back into controllers and I forget to show you all my controllers and I'm gonna cover that as well now this is gonna be a pretty long video man I'm sorry man but I'm trying to break down the whole night so when I'm done y'all won't have to come back and ask bro what's this what's that because I got y'all man y'all know how that goes I got y'all now as I said I'm using a custom y'all don't necessarily need to see that but I'm I am using um I am using the free throw 28 right and athletic fit these are the two i use a lot of the um the dribble pull-ups i use the athletic 11 my bad athletic 11 i use free throw 28 man these are the two i use um hop jump i don't use these that much to be quite honest so yeah those are the two things y'all need to know in terms of the shots now as i said the jump shot the custom jump shot will be at the end of this video man make sure and check it out now moving crossover I love this one Pro 6. I try a few out and you see I uploaded quite. No, I didn't. I tested out a few with my previous build, but I decided to lock in because yeah, I had, let me see, my playmaking sharpshooter. Yes, that I tested out because I unlocked all the dribble moves for that dude. But this one I decided to go with the Pro 6 because it was the most effective for me with that build. So I decided to use this and it's very effective with him as well. Um, moving behind the back. Now, as you see right here, I try out a few. I try out a few and for me, this is the best right here this right here you could do the momentum behind the back the whole nine you could cheese the whole going down fast break you all see i'm always laughing because the ankle breaker with the combination of this it stuns the defender man and gets you around them every time every time so this move right here is cheese in its own you definitely need to equip that the moving spin the dribble spin uh, uh momentum dribble spin you could use this pro for very effective moves you could combo this with a lot of things these are what a lot of the dribble guys are using as well man but i just like it because it helps me create space uh moving hesitation pro one i love this move right here it creates a lot of space a lot of people you know they they took out the little hop back animation but this is definitely the closest thing to it this year Kemba walker of course a lot of people use this i use it as well because you could actually momentum out of it once you understand it once you do it enough you will understand the timing of momentum in and combo this as well um the size up package pro 3 i like it because of that side step right there it helps create space and you could combo that as well Kemba walker the um size up hesitation combo um, Ty Lawson, great one as well. I'm running through this now real quick to create space. This size up between the leg combo, Jamal Crawford. Um, size up between the, no, behind the back combo, of course, to create space as well. Very good move. So y'all definitely need to try out these dribble moves. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all wanna be some dribble guys and cheesers, y'all could try this out as well. But if y'all just like me and once in a while you wanna do it, but you still wanna create space any time you choose to these are the dribble moves you definitely need to try out man right so um that's pretty much all i got for y'all now one more thing i want to show y'all man i want to show y'all the dunk packages and i'm going to go back in my controller settings and show y'all how i'm doing that as well now i'm currently using the explosive on the layups because of that westbrook type layup right there that's the only reason because it gives you a nice boost it's very easy um all you gotta do is push forward the stick when doing a layup I use the stick a lot when dunking and layup and I'm gonna explain with these dunks as well right to give you that quick layup 
that what Russell Westbrook layup to give you a nice extra boost, man, and you make it at a really high percentage. Now the straight tomahawk dunk, I love this because you see the extra boost he gets on that one two. That's what you want. Quick takeoff dunks, hard to block, especially with these builds where the dunk is not that high, so you don't get you ain't got the cop back like LeBron, but you got that straight hand boost dunk, right? Now the secret to this dunk is knowing where you at and knowing how to dunk. Now when you change your controller sentence to attribute man, the, the pro stick orientation and I'm going to show you all in a minute what I'm talking about. But you got more control over your dunks. When it's someone to your left side, you put the right stick while holding down the toe ball to the right, the opposite direction from the defender and it helps you actually dunk at a high percentage now and of course vice versa right if someone's on the other side you do it opposite side as well now the thing is with the baseline cheese man i see players beat like just constantly spam this it's almost unstoppable i'm telling you all that as uh, that is so cheese it's ridiculous and this is a move i don't see a lot of people use it now this is really similar to the one man the one hand the straight hand tomahawk because this gives you a nice boost on the one two and i use it a lot going on on fast break or if i beat a defender and i just want a quick takeoff this gives you a quick takeoff on your dunks man gives you a little extra boost as well you definitely need to use that and of course to initiate it with a pro stick orientation to absolute just push hold the arm turbo and push up the right stick push it forward and you are going to initiate that two hand i had to take off the the side clutch dunk because that was getting blocked a lot man so i had to remove it man and it's to me with this build it's all about efficiency it's all about getting buckets straight up all right i got my slash i could pull him out for flair and style but anytime i choose to man um a next dumb package i use is this baseline reverse off one of course it's very similar once you got the pro stick orientation to absolute you like if you're driving from the right side hold the turbo button and tap the right stick to the right the left side hold the turbo button tap the right stick to the left it's that simple man to pull these off and those are the dunk packages i got now i'm gonna go over them real quick um because i did do some repeat some did repeat in the dunk package lineup right here so the baseline reverse of one clutch baseline reverse tomahawk and the quick drop those are the dunk packages i'm using right now man. these four right here right and of course i'm using the explosive playoff man so um let me go out real quick and don't forget the jump shot will be at the end make sure and check it out um don't save this is gonna be the last thing i know the video is long but i'm trying to explain everything y'all need to know about this bill man everything y'all need to know about this bill and i would advise y'all man to use boost on the shooting if you all want to take a lot of ankles put boost on the on the dribbling on the ball control I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna see an extreme difference. Now, these are the controller settings I use with this build, right? Um, I don't play with the controller speaker, man. I do leave on vibration for the jump shot, man. I do. I'm one of those people that feel the jump shot and don't look at the bar. A lot of people look at the bar. A lot of people look at the um sometimes the the feet or whatever, man. I, I look at probably sometimes I look at the feet or the arm. Like I look for certain indicators. But I really rely on the vibration, man. The vibration works for me a lot when it comes to releasing jump shots, man. That's why I get a lot of greens. Now, the pro stick fun function is on default, but I did put the pro stick orientation on absolute. Now, remember, I always mention this multiple times. This is no matter what direction you're facing, the right will be right, left will be left, up will be up, and the down will be down, man. No matter what, forward will be forward, and back will be back, or whatever, man. So, man, no matter what direction you're facing, you'll be able to do a crossover or or momentum, no matter what direction. I'm facing that direction, no matter what. I ain't gotta adjust nothing. I, I'm not gonna have to adjust anything, right? I could do momentum no matter what direction. I could go there, you know, do a reverse, no matter what direction I'm facing, right? It's very simple. You, it, This is what all dribble guards or people that knows how to play the game does, right? Um, Back to controller real quick. Um, There's one, I do put the pro stick or um, defense on absolute as well because I like to contest shots. Like I would like to keep my hands open and I don't want necessarily to change it depending on what direction I'm facing. So if I'm dean up someone in the corner i could still push the pro stick up the right stick up while i'm on defense to contest and you know which just helps on defense to check the player as well when players are driving past you it is really important 
to have this on absolute so you could push the right stick forward a lot of people don't know that on defense man just push the right stick up forward you check them once you got somebody on them you check them so they won't necessarily get the blow by animation as much with this build right or not with this build with this control settings um i do take shot reaction with intensive d off because a lot of time man this just gets you contesting shots sometimes this player is way off and you're contesting shots and taking you all out the game man so i definitely do recommend y'all chick taking this off man a lot of people take off food to guard i don't um one more thing i want to show you all is this right here these controller settings is what i play with my with my pure point forward now i like to put this power step on um, pass target openness to like 32 because this helps you this helps you decrease the amount of turnovers you got because if someone is highly contested or someone is playing the pass lane to a course you shouldn't be making the game automatically senses it if you notice cpu don't throw a lot of, of um turnovers interceptions when you're playing against cpu because they barely make bad passes unless someone is necessarily like spamming spamming it they're not gonna force bad passes, man, when you play against CPU. Now, the, the computer in this game does know when you're making a bad pass. Now, if you put this there and you press the regular X button to pass and someone's about to intercept it or it's a bad pass, they pass to the open man. They tend to make the pass to the open man. Now, of course, to overwrite this, all you gotta do is icon pass. So, it's it's basically lies on you to make the direct passes if you choose to but sometimes you know you want that quick pass and you think your player is open but he's not yeah this will definitely help with the turnovers man so those are all the tips i got for y'all man this video is longer than i thought it would be i ain't on front but i had to make sure and break down every aspect of this build because y'all see me beasting out there bro this is not by guess i don't just create players by guess y'all know every year i come with some of the best builds for y'all man so i know it's a little late but this i created this late you know it was just for me to have fun with this game and just go out there and not necessarily only dunk on people or only just shoot or you know just uh, do it all player for you to go out there and just run the court man so you already know man your boy sim let me know what y'all think about the video let me know if this helped you all out now if you're first time to my channel make sure to like the video share the video hit your boy subscribe if it's not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna help your boy sim one love respect bless up